right now is the executive vice president, head of all the operations at, at Disney World in, in Orlando. And he came up in the business first from Hilton and then Marriott and then for Disney. And uh, when people really describe his position, Al Weiss, the president of all the, the Disney uh, properties, says that he's the emotional leader of Disney. And I think that's really exciting, and I think it's great that he's with us here. Let's welcome Lee. Everybody's got the same issues today, how to grow their company, how to grow their leaders, how to be better leaders, how to be better managers, how to get the strategy right. It's just everybody's after the same thing. So we have four things we all, I focus on with our people, and I tell them, I think in your career and in your career too, uh, and even if you're telling the science things, I think for leaders, it's, uh, we try to tell them the four things that they should focus on. Technical competence, whether you're in the merchandise business, the food business, the concrete business, uh, running a shoe store, you need technical knowledge. And the second thing is management. I really work hard with our people on management. That whole thing around being disciplined and organized, waking up every day and sitting down and taking a part of your day before you start your day and organizing your life and sitting down and thinking about what you want to get done today and this week and, and uh, this month and really sitting quietly and writing them down and put them in a planner and uh, putting priorities on them and work your way through the day when you have some time and you're not in a meeting, you go to that list and you knock those things out. You have children? You had them. Does everybody know how you got them? Everybody know how that works? You got them, now what are you going to do with them? A lot of parents don't know what they're going to do with their kids, and that's why you got a lot of kids out of control in this country. Because i got one theory for sure. If you know what you're trying to do, it's a lot easier to do it. So this is a big deal, knowing what you want to do at work, at home, in your life, and what, why are you doing it? You carry a day planner, right? Can you look in there at the end of the month and find your whole life in here? Can you find your kids in here, your wife in here, your investments in here, your health checkups in here, your workout in here? Can you find your whole life in your plan? Are you focused on everything every day? And most people are not. Reliability, credibility, setting the example. This is a big deal. Third thing, technology. I don't even think I'd have been talking about this 15 years ago. Technology. How well do you understand it? How well do you use it? How well do you apply it? And how well do you think about applying it to your business so you can make it better? But those three I'm not going to talk about. I want to talk about leadership today. So the fourth one, leadership. So great. You're going to get technically competent. You are. You're going to get organized, I hope. A lot of you aren't. Some people were born and just, I'm afraid the Lord left the discipline out. You didn't get any. Everything starts with leadership. The guest does not come first. Leadership comes first. And companies that say guest comes first, it can't without great leadership. Now, leadership comes first. You get that right. That leads to cast excellence. We call cast excellence that environment. It's an excellent environment to work in. It's a place where you're developed, where you have opportunity. You can reach whatever level you're competent enough to reach. Uh, people are helping you, they're listening to you, involving you, they're helping you in so many ways. That leads to that environment. If you get that environment right in your company, what happens? You get satisfaction from your customers and your guests. How do you like paying for your health care? Oh, we hate the health care. Even when it was free, they didn't like it. You know? So we don't ask that anymore. But ask people about the environment, their leadership, the, the processes they work under, the culture. Are we doing the right? Do you have the right supplies to it? Do you have the right equipment? Do you have the right support, you have uh, a leader who treats you respectfully, do you, would you work for this leader again if you had the choice? Big question. Do you trust your leader? Big question. These are anonymous surveys, let me tell you what, that's the first page I go to when I get my survey back. Would you work for the Lee again and do you trust him? And if you get a seven, the lowest score is a one, high score is a seven. If you get a seven on trust, you know what? The rest of your survey is always great. Isn't that funny? You get a three or four on trust, the rest of your survey is a disaster. Every question they, it's, so I tell people, that's the only one I want to get a full one seven on. When you get a seven on trust, everything else seems to fall into place. If you do anything well, hire great people and they'll take care of your business. And reality is fantastic. We work hard at making reality fantastic. You know what's reality today? Security. This guy may be introverted and never speak to you. I don't care, make him feel good about himself, right? Because we need him. When you talk about the key links in an organization that can put you out of business, Ken loses his assistant, he's dead. Right? 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 The first piece of advice as a leader and as a parent, be careful what you say and do today. They're watching you and they're judging you. Everybody. Right now. 
Everybody's watching. How many people in here think you have a reputation? How many reputations do you think you have? Because I say in time management, ask yourself when you're doing your planning time every morning, what should you do today, this week, or this month that won't pay off for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 years from now for some of you? Pay, treating people as individuals is a big deal. Right? Development works that way. People know. When you develop people, they're really committed to you and they stay with you. What are the four cast expectations, the four employee expectations? I said, okay, the first thing I think they expect is that we make them feel special. Recognition and appreciation. How important is it? So my boss writes me a note one day and he writes, Lee, you're a great partner. You do a great job. I hope you stay with me for another 15 years. And he sent it to me on a little card with his name, you know, in Boston at the top. I took it home, showed it to my wife, showed it to my mother-in-law. I took it back to my boss and I said, thank you, I appreciate this, but I need one every two weeks. Because <laughs> I'm really insecure. And I just, actually, you don't even have to write a new one if you just turn it over and date it and initial it every two weeks. I just need to know it's current. But when you stop somebody and say, you know, you've done a great job, we're glad you're on our team, we hope you stay with us, you're really important. You think they like that? You know, people will not be committed to you until they're pretty sure you're committed to them. They said, respect me. Respect me no matter where I'm from. Even if I don't speak English, respect me. No matter what my color is, no matter what my religion I practice, no matter what my diet needs are, no matter what my sexual orientation is, just respect me for who I am. Every single person you know has a problem you don't know about. Do you believe that? A worry, a problem, going through a divorce, not happy, this, an illness, a worry about an illness, a son has gone drugs, this, that, but they keep away from you. Every single person you know has a problem you don't know about. It might help us be more sensitive to people. I suspect if you took those four things, probably everybody in this room would like to be made to feel special, treated as an individual, totally respected no matter what, and developed and educated. and you would like for somebody to understand your job. And I find this leadership a fascinating subject. I love it. Everything that's ever happened, good in the world or bad in the world, has been directly related to leadership. I have one theory that if, when they were building the pyramids, if they would quit hitting those people, they could have built them in about four months. Don't underestimate the influence each one of you have with people in this world. For your own behaviors, and for helping people, and being there for people, whether it's your family, or your co-workers, other people or a stranger on the street. Don't underestimate it because individuals have shown all through history. It's unbelievable that one person can make a huge difference in some one person's life or in millions of people's lives. Think about your own social leadership. How good can it be? That's an interesting thing. So thank you very much. I'm glad to be here today.